Hey, did you hear trans people mad as hell about Hogwarts Legacy? Why, they can't be trans in a game? No, they can. It was a problem. They they mad. They they don't want the they don't want the game to come out. They they got a guy fired and now they're boycotting another guy. Why don't they just not buy it? Well they say they're not gonna buy it, but I mean you know <laughs> It's pretty clear. They gonna do something. They got they got they gonna they're gonna take that game into the room and you know, y'all wait here. I'm I'm gonna review it to make sure it's as racist as I think it is. They're they're telling themselves something, you know. Pretty insane. <laughs> And scene. Hello, beta testers. It's hard not to appreciate the palpable excitement for this game. Even for people who aren't going to play, it's clear that some gaming publications, journalists, and media plan to make this game the hill they die on. And to be abundantly clear, the filthy, woke, IGN, Polygon, Kotaku, or even Forbes with Paul Tassi cringe ass. Look at this thing wrote. The success of Hogwarts Legacy despite Rowling's defiant stance will give the sense that society tolerates her transphobic views. Oh, what the fuck, man? He wrote that. <laughs> I love the idea of advertisers smelling the stench off of these shit articles. Losers openly planning to badly review a game because they don't like what somebody said. Damn, that's crazy. It's always different when y'all do something. Remember, don't like it, don't buy it. Remember that? You know, when we don't like garbage, we're told we must be racist. Uh, gonna buy a game? You must be transphobic. You like chicken sandwich? You must be a homophobe. Remember when not liking a bad movie made us sexist? Because women must be funny, nigga. It's not that it's just a bad movie. And y'all gonna die on that hill. That was 2016. For five years, people have been putting up with this shit. And it's always from outsiders masquerading as insiders who don't know the fucking flavor of the Kool-Aid. Your unconscious biases ruin my day and you're gatekeeping the gaming space. Admitting that she doesn't play the games. Here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games. Shut the fuck up. Sit the fuck down. This ain't for you. But you don't have anything for you, so you gotta ruin literally everybody else's bullshit. Hypocrite. Blizzard doesn't matter. So maybe, just maybe, that pendulum's swinging the other way. And if you're smart, you'll get out of the way. Instead of standing in the way, knowing that the pendulum's coming, and playing victim when it hits you. Oh, I can't believe that that thing that swung in that direction, and it's coming right back. Oh, how could I not have physically understood what was going on? It's your fault, you dumb bitch, Paul, dumbassy. You know, katamari dumbassy. Bro, somebody need to roll your ass up and smoke ya. Ask all your black friends what I may mean when I'm saying this. But over here in the real world, some of us can walk into a GameStop and scoop up a game and not have to agree with everybody who made it because we're not children. You know? And truth be told, any lasting thing worthy of merit or consumption is probably had a hand in it by a kid diddler, a thief, a liar, an asshole, a con man. That's honestly how these things get done, and they get done in half the time that it would have taken honest men doing honest work to do the same job. You know, we don't have to like it to acknowledge it is true. Some of these people live in such Flanders lives. You know what I mean? Where they won't even acknowledge. <laughs> what I'm honestly impressed by is the fact that it took this long, that nothing else tripped them up with how foolish they're acting now. You know? Sabotage. I understand putting your foot down for some of this stuff, but this is a video game, man. It ain't the hill. It ain't the hill. And y'all look so dumb. And I hope that these advertisers eat your dumb asses alive because y'all have deserved it. Why in God's name would you ever consider going full G4 over something as foolish as this? I recently didn't like a video game because it was trash, buggy, and unfinished. I was called a terrorist by community manager Deadly Step of the Volition Saints Row reboot team. What a bunch of fucking losers. How you think they look down, my nigga? If there's one thing Kyle always saying, you can't do more damage than a mirror. Look how exciting this is. Simon Pegg. Of course, we're all fans of Shaun of the Dead, and it's because we love Edgar Wright. Y'all like Scott Pilgrim, too? He's, he's great. He's great. 
But back to Simon Pegg, you know, I'd, I, a, a black family member, if you're not a fan of it, you're not a fan of it. But I just can't tell you how many things that I'm passionate about that I've been effectively told, no, I'm wrong about when I open my mouth for critique. And now that I'm in the midst of something that I do care about, having all these outsiders come in and try to talk all this shit, it's just like the most bizarre kind of realm that I don't want to be in. It's a little magical escape. That's what these are. And that's what y'all got a problem with is when anything's not a, a, an opportunity for uh, education, but your lessons are dated. They're stale. They don't apply. It's like you are the least social, but you're trying to speak on behalf of those who are. It's like you exist in these echo chambers with other dweebs who think identically to you. But much like Christian, you're utilizing weaponizing trans status like you like you just leveled up. And you, you want the skill tree? You want access to the trans skill tree? I'll have that. Oh, look at those benefits. But guess what? Only skills in the trans tree are delicately worded debuffs. You know? Let me... Here's an example. Generously increased resistance to healing. It, 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 it's written pretty. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. It's not a good thing. Nope. It depends on the class. I don't know. Maybe your class has some sort of like the the less you get healed or or you're operating at a low health. The build could work, man, but it's insane. You know, maybe you trans people are operating low health because, you know, you're, every day you get a little bit close. You know, no. Ooh, why do games have to be so good? That you could make a build where you do more damage the lower your health is. You'd probably want resistance to healing. No. It's still kind of foolishness. You got to get some. Oh, man. I am so sorry. I hope you're not my kind of gamer, you know, when you're rolling into Hogwarts Legacy. Because, boy, oh, boy, are you going to leave no stone no stone unturned. Sometimes the kindest and best support that you can offer someone is to say nothing at all. It's kind of like to look the other way. People don't have to agree on anything, and in most cases, it'd probably be insane as an expectation. These days, however, the same people preaching tolerance and inclusivity can't go two sentences without demonstrating intolerance and excluding those who don't think exactly like them. Look at this game. It's phenomenal. It is a result of passionate work from a team of devoted developers, creatives, and visionaries. But we're meant to tolerate the hypocritical nonsense out of people who confronted with proof, facts, or evidence to refute misunderstandings. Sometimes even when you have a video or a recording to show them, they choose to be willfully ignorant. We're currently watching journalists lie about developers not needing to be paid, gleefully spreading misinformation and forming communities around brigading and harassing people, forming hilarious equivalences, you know, and... And I see and watch a lot of the videos that are being made right now, and they're all just going, imagine a vegan implying that they're being harmed by someone else eating meat. My God, physically, you know, psychologically, sure. But physically, the unfortunately sad part about every angle of this is how entitled and whiny it shows the trans community to be. They couldn't just choose not to support this thing. They needed to jump between people and a thing that they were trying to enjoy and tell them that they're terrible, indecent. My genuine theory on why so many of them are so miserable is they must be forcing themselves to ingest exclusively garbage like Velma because they, they believe that they could be sure that the majority of the people working on that are, are not the kinds of people that think things they don't agree with, you know what I mean? Anyone who watches Rick and Morty... <sighs> you know what I mean? Thanks for doing the impossible. <sighs> <laughs> and reaching the end of the video i'm sorry i love you i'm real you know <laughs> and if you can't handle me at my worst i love you you know thank you for liking the video thank you for listening oh man bye